every single Arsenal fan today, this Monday, is over the moon because we clipped them. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Arsenal 3, but we must discuss our two difference makers from that game. Welcome to the channel with Jay from Jay Ferguson TV. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so we get all three points. But I'm really looking at those two players in our team, what I'm calling our difference makers. And they have shown that over the last course of the two games, we have scored eight goals and conceded two. Those two players are Thomas Party and Kai Havertz. Let's discuss Thomas Party first. Now, He's been a miss. And the reason why Thomas Pye has been a big miss this season because he is a difference maker. What makes him a difference maker is because he creates a chain reaction inside of that Arsenal starting 11 team. What do I mean? Thomas Pye plays as a deep line six, which then allows Declan Rice to push further forward as an eight which then allows Martin Odegaard to play as a more conventional number 10, which then allows Kai Havertz to play as an out-and-out -out nine. That is why Thomas Pye is a difference maker, because his appearance in the team all of a sudden makes three players better. It makes three players better because we're playing them in their more natural, efficient position. Okay? Now... What's also spectacular about Thomas Party is just his pure footballing IQ. When you look at majority of defensive midfielders, they spend a lot of time on the ground. Last ditch tackles, 50-50 tackles, tracking back, all of these different elements. That's great. And fans love to see, yeah, get stuck in. But... Let's just look at the pure quality of Thomas Pye. The fact that he hardly never really needs to make those 50-50 tackles. He never really needs to make those 40-yard recovery runs, last-ditch tackle. He doesn't need to because his footballing IQ is so high that he reads the game two, three phases ahead of time. There's so many times where Thomas Park. There's so many times when Thomas Pye is just positioned right where the opposing team sees that, oh, I can't make that pass. They go back. Now, those are things you won't probably pick up when you're just watching the game. You just think, oh, they turned out, play the ball back. No, that's because Thomas Pye is amazing at marking space, closing out space, which then forces a difference in the thought process of the attacking player, number one. Number two is just his ability to nip in front of attackers when the ball is coming into feet. These are a lot of things that you can't teach, right? And Thomas Pye is, for me, one of the closest things you saw see to that traditional Makaleli role. But what Thomas Pye also has in abundance what Makaleli didn't have in space was progressive passing very quick. One touch out of his feet, maximum two progressive balls, always forward, always on the attacking thought process. Thomas Pye, difference maker, number one. Difference maker, number two, Kai Havertz, world performance. When he plays as a number nine, we see the difference in what actually a good striker looks like playing for Arsenal, okay? And we saw that in the game against Chelsea. He scored two goals. We saw it again today. Goal scored, one assist. Now, what makes him so great when he plays through the middle is just his pure ability and movement. Now, it also, you know, Kai Havertz also creates a chain reaction, like I mentioned, with Thomas Pye, is because he has presence. When we try to go with Trossard as a false nine, small profile. Eddie Nketa, small profile. Gabriel Jesus, small profile. That excludes the option to go long. Everything to those three individuals has to be at ground level, into feet. Which then means we're always trying to find the perfect pass. Which means we have to try and cut through midfield to try and get the ball to feet. 
Now, when we're struggling to do that, that means those three players have to drop deep to collect the ball a lot further away from goal in midfield because they're being restricted. When you play Kai Havertz, we could beat the press by going long because we're confident that he's an elite battle and allow that ball to stick when the ball's played to him at head height, chest height, waist height. It doesn't matter. And we saw that again today, right? He gave Tottenham's defence nightmares. He gave Chelsea's defence nightmares. And what he's doing now as well, he is bagging goals. That's now three goals in the last two games and throwing assists with a great ball to Saka. So these are all the different elements, again, what make Kai Havertz a difference maker at Arsenal. It's just such a shame that we've been unable to see them both play in tandem for the majority of the season, which then leads me to, you know, this summer was super crucial. Now, a lot of people are ready to dismiss Thomas Pai for me. I would definitely keep Thomas Pai and I would drop him as a squad player. And then I will move out the likes of El Nene and Jorginho and have Party on the bench. That's why the Thomas Party replacement has to be in a very much similar mold. Because we are a better team when we play with a higher IQ defensive six with progressive passing, which then allows us to play Declan Rice as an eight. So Thomas Party's replacement this summer is crucial and I've mentioned on uh, previous videos I would like to see the likes of you know Bruno Guimaraes I know we've been linked with Zuba Mendy or Real Sociedad you know these type of players could be in that Thomas Party profile potentially but also the Kai Havertz challenger as well because he's played great but I don't think his current performance should stop Arsenal going out and actually getting an out-and-out -out striker. Think how well he's done and he's not an out-and-out -out striker. To challenge Kai Havertz as a number nine, again, needs to offer the exact same things as Kai Havertz is offering with the exception of being even more clinical. That's all what's missing from Kai Havertz. He's just not overly clinical. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you think Pai and Kai Havertz are our real, real difference makers in our starting 11? Let me know down below in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button on your way out and hit that like button. See you all again soon. Peace.